if I may quickly respond. <clears throat> so here's the way I take what you did last week. You're saying I really can't be chairman. After seven weeks of holding my own bill, under this scenario, I can't even pass a bill that I introduce as chairman because two of you won't show up. Now, it would be different if I had not tried. For seven weeks, I withheld marking up this bill, and I got nowhere. And I'm not going to get anywhere under the current construct until the political system responds differently to what's going on at the border. What you're telling me is that I should ignore what you did to me last week. I will not. I will work with you as long as I can in good faith, but you're not going to take my job away from me. I take this very personally. I've tried my best to find a compromise. Last week, you used the rules so I could not proceed after delaying for seven weeks. That's not going to happen as long as I'm chairman. You may not like what we do over here. You can vote no. But this committee is not going to be the dead-end committee on things that matter. We're actually going to act. I hope it's bipartisan, but if it's not, we're going to deal with the nation's problems. I told the Border Patrol agents I'm going to do what I can. And if it doesn't get any votes on the Democratic side in this committee, we'll see if it get votes on the floor. And maybe it won't. And I'll keep talking to you to try to find a way to bridge the gap. But Senator Leahy, you've been here a long time. I would never have done this to you. If you tried to work with me for seven weeks on something important to you, and me and my crowd did not show up so you couldn't move forward, I don't think you have much choice. You either give up being chairman or you do what I'm doing. Senator Durbin. I, I should just note for the record, I wasn't here last week because a member of my family was being buried that day. Do so we I couldn't noted, be there. and I, I but apologize. I would, I would but, note the five Republicans right. weren't here. I right. hope that they weren't at a family funeral, too. I, I don't mean to make it personal, but I was told nobody's going to come for the express purpose, so I could not mark this bill up. To you, I am sorry about your loss. I did not mean it in those terms, but I was informed that nobody's going to show up, and it wasn't because of scheduling problems. So in the sense of your loss and you couldn't be here, I am sorry.